Yo, what's up? I thought I'd just show you some of the little tips and tricks to get you going and hopefully this will save you a lot of time. So let's get started. Right, so I've just thrown this little thing together and you can see the, yeah, they just put a load of models down, nothing special. But I thought I'd show you guys how I'm moving around in Radiant. So if you have your mouse right click button held down and you move the mouse, your camera will move around on a lock Z axis, which allows you to navigate the place. But say you want to go up or down, you can actually hold the control button now and this will pan and this will lock your rotation but allow you to go down and up instead which is also very handy so you'll find that you know you're still holding the right mouse button but you're also holding control now and as soon as you let go of control it'll go back to the original way and the next thing is when you're holding the control button but say you want to turn now so you're holding the right mouse button control but add in shift as well and now you're going to rotate on one point and this is and this is an orbital rotation. This means that you can look around and change it. And then as soon as you let go of shift, it's back to pan with the control held down and right click and then let go of the control and then you're back to normal, which is great in case you wanna look up and move around like this. And it's generally how I move around the place. But say that for some reason I've been putting miles and miles and miles and miles away and you've ended up over here and you don't want to have to scroll all the way over there because it'll be a mission you know you'll be scrolling for ages so if we hide this pane we can press f4 on that and it'll bring what we've selected into the view so then we can hide it pressing h and um, select something like this chair for example and then press f4 again and now we're back at the scene in just a couple clicks we've traveled a great distance and saved ourselves a whole load of moving around okay so the next thing i'd like to show you is if you happen to own an xbox 360 controller that's awesome because you can just connect it to your computer and your controller will work in radiant now look as i move these toggles you can see that it actually moves in game and you can use this to your advantage because you can take some really awesome shots using the controller and it's as if you've got no clip in game in Radiant it becomes really useful for just getting a feel of your map. So you can actually use the controller to move around and then you've got left trigger to go down, right trigger to go up. So it's like you've got UFO mode and so you can slow it down with LB and you can speed it up with RB as well. So you've got a little boost going on. And one of the best things that you can do uh, with, with a controller is when you press F9 and say that you've set up a really cool sun and do you want to take some cool videos to show off your new map well now you can actually scroll around with the toggles like this and you can get some really cool pan shots to showcase your map and it goes really well in trailers and you can slide past stuff like this and then just add in a little bit of the uh, toggle there so and then you can speed it up and go down go up like this and this is just moving around with these sticks and you, then you'd probably want to use OBS to record the screen and there you go, you've got yourself a cool video. The next thing I'll show you is to change this 2D view, what you can do is hold control and hit tab and that will go there in this view. But say you're over here and you want to go to the selected item, there are two ways of doing that. Yes, you can press F4. What I find myself doing a lot is doing control tab three times or a few Press, hold control and hit tab a load of times until you're in the view that makes sense to you. And this one's great, it shows it's on the floor. This one's good to show where it is from above. And that's exactly what you want to be doing with the control and tab. The next thing I'd like to show you is to so copy in. You can either press space, which is going to offset it down and across whatever the grid size is. So we press space there and it's gone down a little bit. If we change the grid to five and now press space, you see it moved a lot. So say that you don't want it to actually move, you want it to stay in the exact spot, which is what you want to do for blending textures, for example. You can do Control C, Control V. Didn't look like it did anything, but if we move it out of the way, you'll see that it's made a copy. The next thing is on your keyboard, there are keys to actually move the view around, such as A and Z will change the rotation of the view, and D and C will change the height from where your camera is. But I wouldn't advise using these keys um, just because of how inconvenient they are. It's much easier to use control and right click. Okay, 
The next thing is that when you're moving around uh, to deselect an object, you're going to be using the escape key a lot. And the next thing I'd suggest is when you're working with a lot of models and textures is before you do anything, make sure you hit the escape key. Because if you've been working on this chair and then you go away and say you go get a drink and you come back and then you go to work on something else, you might be adjusting this chair. So whenever you're working on stuff, you're always going to be hitting that escape key. But anyway, that's it for moving like a pro. I hope you find this useful and you can save yourself some time and get some really cool shots for this. So. Yeah, just give it a go, and if you haven't got an X controller, then yeah, get one. <laughs> like, you just have a lot more flow and everything in a controller. You'd find that hard to do with the keyboard, and it looks kind of cool as well. So, yeah, I hope this has helped, and comment if you need to know anything. I, I like to help out, so if you have any questions, just let me know. And yeah, like, share this video if you found it useful and you think someone else can make some use out of it. Subscribe, stay tuned, and have a great day. Thank you for watching. See ya. Has he got any coffee in there? No? God damn it. We're going to have to sort that out right now. A man without coffee is like a man without a purpose. Right. We're going to change this to a patch. We're going to cheat a little. What we're going to do is we're going to make a cylinder. And then we're going to put the verts up using shift and end square bracket that grid size down and then we're gonna do shift c now let's delete that and bring that right down in there so he's got himself some coffee oh nice looking green cup of coffee looks look at that oh beautiful absolutely beautiful doesn't that look like something that you just get a week at the knees for mm. so yeah that's a beautiful cup of coffee still recording See ya.